Hey Clashers, the biggest event so far, which is including free to play players and people who invested money. No problem, watch this. In this poster, you can see all of those important informations summarized again. So what exactly does this mean? Well, overall, we have now three Itsu Cups, which are pretty much back to back, because obviously we wanted to have everyone having the chance of getting their minis again, max or at least upgrading the most important minis. And obviously people who wanted to invest money that they can max out the heroes they would like to do so. But the important thing now is that we want to create events not only for the people who are investing money, no, as well for the people who are uh, free to play to make sure that they now then can spend the money and maybe upgrade their Clash Mini account a little bit more. So what exactly is the idea with this setup and how do we try to keep involving everyone into this? Our approach with those three Itsu Cups is the following. So we're starting things off with for every single Itsu Cup is this means we're going to have two qualifiers. In every qualifier, the top four players are going to get to the final event, but there's prize money for the top eight actually. So if you're kind of lucky with the bracket tree and maybe getting into the top eight, you're already going to make money, which contains actually Amazon gift cards. This means with those, you can obviously like invest that into whatever you want to, but this means just with getting into the top eight of the qualifiers, you are already making money. The next approach and how we try to involve everyone is first of all, two out of those cups are going to be open to everyone. This means it doesn't matter which hero you're playing, it doesn't matter which hero level you have, but as well just to make sure that not only the qualifiers people can win money if you're free to play, no, we want to make like uh, one out of those three Itsu cups overall for hero level one to seven. So this does mean the first and the third Itsu cup are going to be open for everyone. This obviously means with how the game is structured at the moment, and I know most of us want to have the tournament standard in Clash Mini. At the moment, it's not there, hopefully just yet, but it's not there at the moment for sure. This means we have to live with that, that level 10 heroes are obviously having the way better chances, but with kind of trying to comprehend uh, that, we are having the second Itsu Cup then open for everyone in between of level 1 to level 7. That's kind of how it works. Then again, how the prize money is going to be dis disputed is going to be posted on the Discord server. You can see it in the rulebook as well. How do you sign up now? That's the next question I guess you want you want to have answered because, I mean, after this, you probably want to sign up. So your next step should look like this. Join the Discord server, which is linked down below and really marks clearly as the tournament Discord server. Obviously, my own Community League Discord server is down there as well, but that's not the Discord server which you have to join for this specific Itsu Cup. For the Itsu Cup, you need to join the Discord server which is marked as that tournament Discord server. And as, you, as soon as you join there, go onto the rush.gg uh, website as well and you can register over there and sign up. Why exactly do we use Discord? and the Rush website. Well, Discord is pretty much just like, um, if you have any questions during the tournament, if you have any questions ahead of the tournament, you can use the Discord server to ask whatever your, your questions might look like. In addition of the, des um, of the Discord server, there is like a website guide if you have any question, if you cannot find where to change the language, if you cannot see where you can find the, the match chat and the things like that, which are all described not only on the Discord server, but as well in the rule set. It's really important that you're reading those rules because, well, that's what you should do if you're participating in a tournament where quite a big of amount of prize pool is on the line, right? So that's the two things you have to do. Get on the Discord server and then next sign up and create your account if you haven't done so and sign up then on the rush.gg website. Those are all the steps you have to go for. If you have, fee if you have feedback for any future tournaments, it's if Itsu Cups um, or whatever you would like to see, let me know down below in the comments. Join the Discord server and post it in the Itsu Cup feedback section. No problem. I'm really looking forward to see what your ideas might look like because at the end of the day, I'm doing that for you guys because that's the... That's the big thing, right? And especially as well with having the prize pool and the qualifier is already quite a big one. Like every single qualifier is containing of $600 in gift cards, which is 
pretty decent, I want to say. So that's already the first thing where you can earn prize money, even with your not being a maxed out um, hero player. So that should be possible as well to maybe get into the top eight, even if you're not making it into the top four, which means you're qualifying for the final event. In the final event, then you're going to have the, the, the prize money, which is in euros again. So be careful with the dollar euros thing. It's all highlighted on the poster. And this means, take a look at that. And you can see as well in the final event, then there's going to be going to be 300 euros on the line for the top winners of the or top placements of the competition. I really hope that you're going to have a lot of fun with that. As I said, the biggest uh, tournament so far in Clash Mini history. Really hoping that you like it. As I said, post feedback if you would like to see anything different, if you would like to see anything improved. I heard um, your feedback the last time where we had only hero level 1 to 10 allowed. So we're now having one of the three with uh, hero level 1 to 7. So we kind of adjusted that. And well, thank you so much for watching this kind of information video more like in the background. We had some nice gameplay obviously as well. But overall, it was more about like trying to present the event to you guys obviously huge thank you as well to rush gg to make all of this possible with um me together then and well hoping and wishing for the best possible future and obviously thank you to clash mini for creating this awesome game so that's it for today i will see you guys uh, signing up and then back in one to two days with the next video until then see ya and bye bye